Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about search engine optimization and specifically backlinks and how they work and how they help your site rank. So in this case, I just kind of did um, this page. Let's say you have a website and on your website, you have a page that talks about being happy-go-lucky. Now I just picked that because it's a random word and it, it to emphasize this point that this is going to be a key word that somebody would search for. So let's say that somebody searches happy-go-lucky and you want your site to be shown for that, this is one of the elements you need are backlinks, right? So you have your on-site optimization, you have your backlinks, and you have traffic. And for those who are new to me and, and my assets, I should say, I have another entire like brand called the Generation Source where I teach a lot of these concepts. So this is going to be kind of like a, a just an overview of it. So anyway, so we've got our keyword, we've got our on-site optimization, which includes stuff like, you know, mobile friendly site, um, it, it, on-site speed is really fast, or at least faster. And then you've got, you know, your keyword optimization within here. Then what we have is we have other sites that are linking back to this site. And so this might be, you know, you might have like on your Facebook page where you have this posted, say, hey, check out my post, happy go lucky here and it's linking back to your site, you know, and then you might have another post somewhere else where it says how to be happy go lucky and it's linking back. So this would be linked back to your site, to your URL. And you could have other links that say like, check out this fun article, go here, and there's tons more, right? So the idea behind backlinking is that when a search engine, and this could be Google, this could be Pinterest, this could be Facebook, this could be just about any type of search engine that's out there. When they see your page, they know that you have information on here that says something. But nowadays, you know, back in the day, it, they used to believe whatever we put on there. But nowadays, Google knows that we can manipulate that along with many other search engines. So they like to verify information. So they say, okay, well, your site does have happy go lucky on it. It looks like it's about happy go lucky. But let's see what other sites are talking about. Okay, so then they're going to start going to your social media properties, they're gonna go to back bookmarking, sites are going to go to other web properties and they're going to start looking to see what they if they're talking about your site and what they're saying so if you have no backlinks here google may say well we'll go ahead and categorize it as happy go lucky but let's put it at rank 384 and that's purely because you they just have no idea if you really belong there or not so they're just going to go ahead and categorize you under that but you're not going to be shown immediately and by the way if you're at 384 you will never get seen if you're not on page one, the likelihood of getting seen organically on Google is very minimal. So the idea is, is that we help guide the search engines into understanding what our page is about, not just us, but other, other people too, right? You know, if somebody else has a blog and they're like, oh, hey, check out this fun article and it's from their blog, that helps Google say, oh, hey, somebody else is saying that this is what, that this is a good site to go to. And they're going to say, they're going to look at the content surrounding this link as well. But for the most part, they're going to look at this link and say, oh, it's a fun article and, and it's a link back. So it's not the keyword isn't as important as the fact that you're getting a, a backlink and they want it to be natural. So you wouldn't want every single link anyway to say happy go lucky. In fact, like the ratio is like one to every 20 or something. It's, it's pretty low. You don't have to have your keyword and a, and a lot of backlinks. So, in the past, like I said, in, in lead generation source, I've talked about this before and where we have links that we can control, links we don't control, and links we sort of control, right? And so the links that we can control are our social media assets. And I teach a method where you can automate links to your social media properties, to bookmarking sites, and to um, web 2.0 blogs like wordpress.com, medium, well, I wouldn't really do it to medium, but that is an option blogger, things like that, where you can not only generate traffic, but you can also build a backlink from these, what they call high authority sites. So because of that, some of you may be going, well, I'll just do that. I'll tell you now I do that and I can get maybe one or two links to show up quickly. It takes a long time to what they call index them. And the reason why this is, is because even though this link might exist, if there's no activity on these links or there's nothing linking back to them, then the properties go, well, how, how valid is this? So let's say that this is a brand new site right here that's linking to you. 
Google's going to look at it and go, this is a brand new site. They probably created it on their own or it's just a spam site or whatever. I'm going to wait until I know for sure that this site's legit before I, I consider this link. So now what happens is you're, they don't even look at that. They don't consider that as a backlink to you. And you're like, okay, maybe they don't even know this site exists, right? That happens a lot too, where, where people build sites and they, they build something wrong or they, you know, click the wrong box and all of a sudden their, their site's not even showing up. I, I see that a lot of times with clients where they're like, well, I don't know if I rank or not. Yeah. You're not showing up for anything because you clicked the wrong box or because they just don't have any content on their site. And so the, the important part is, is that we have these backlinks, but then we also need to index them and, or you can, and actually both is ideal. You also create additional links, right? So we would create additional links back to these links. And so ideally we have something like, let's say that this is a YouTube video, right? Let's say that this one right here is going to be a YouTube video. And we say, okay, well this YouTube video, which Google owns that property. So they know that the property is legit is linking back. And I can tell you for local SEO, I've done this before where back when Google plus existed, I basically just created a YouTube video, shared it to Google plus, And all of a sudden I started ranking on like page two. So it, it doesn't take much when you're using good properties to increase your, you know, your, your ranking, but you, most of us are going to have some competition. So that's for, and local SEO has some different tricks like that, that you can do. But nowadays, you know, people are getting savvy to that and they're, you know, paying for SEO services. You know, I have clients, uh, I know my sister has clients I know other people have clients and they're paying for SEO services and that, and that's your competition, right? So instead, if you want to do it yourself, and this is what this is, is a done for you system with the DFY suite. So it's a done for you suite and it's so that you can get backlinks, right? So you could theoretically backlink straight to your site, though I don't necessarily recommend that until we see a little bit more of the backlinks. And the only reason why I say that is because I have another property of um, one of the Joshua Zamora is one of the guys that created, I have another program that he offers. And when I was looking at the links that were going to some of the syndication networks, they were kind of spammy. And so I decided that I would not send my, I mean, bookmarking sites are one thing, right? And that's, we had a lot of bookmarking sites that had, that looked a little bit more spammy. And so I'm like, well, I just won't send them to those properties. I'll send things like my YouTube channel. So YouTube, for those who understand domain authority has a really do high domain authority. So this is a really strong property. Okay. So YouTube is a really strong property can handle spammy backlinks, can handle any type of backlinks. So if you send a bunch of backlinks to YouTube and then YouTube's linking back here, it'll filter out because this is still strong. It's not going to make this any weaker. So it'll, it'll stay strong and it'll still give you a strong backlink, but it'll help clarify, you know, you've got all these other backlinks linking to here and saying, Oh, Hey, by the way, this YouTube video is about happy go lucky. And then happy go lucky YouTube video is pointing back to your page. And now all of a sudden search engines are like, Oh, this is about happy go lucky. So that's kind of like the simplified version of it, because like I said, ranking isn't just about backlinks. I will say that there have been plenty of people who can rank because of backlinks, and that's purely because their competition is not doing any backlinks. But backlinks in and of themselves are not enough to fully rank unless you have good content and you have activity in your site. So if you're like, oh, hey, I don't have any of that, start with backlinks. That's your, you're the fastest way to get traffic is to have backlinks and be everywhere. So this is really nice. This, this done for you suite is really nice because it helps build backlinks and then you can build more backlinks, you know, elsewhere as well. So if you're like, Oh, Hey, I want to do it manually. You can do manual ones to your site and then use the done for you suite to go to your, your secondary properties. So that's kind of how I recommend using it. And that's, I, I mean, I'm excited about it coming out because one for my YouTube videos, I always end up breaking like 10 or 11 and I still get traffic. Like I have a couple that rank in the, in the first and second spots for their keywords and I get traffic from it regularly. So I can't really complain, but it took a lot of work to get there. And so, and I, and I think I have a lot of backlinks back to those. And when I look, I'm like, oh yeah, there's more backlinks to those than I have to any of my other ones. I'm like, oh, I gotta build more backlinks to these. And even though I automate a lot of this, there's just those links that aren't getting indexed are just a problem. So between a link indexer, which I talk about in one of the, the upsells, 
and between and then building the backlinks. Both of those are critical elements of backlinking. So if you want to learn more about this whole process, I know there'll be some sort of training in there, but you can always hop into lead generation source as well and you know check out a little bit of information on that. Actually, I have quite a bit of information on it. And then, you know, I look forward to working with you guys in Lead Generation Source. And then if you get the, if you get done for you suite through my links, you also get access to the bonuses listed on the page. And you can see those bonuses. In fact, let me go ahead and pull those up. Hold on. So actually, before I jump into the bonuses, let's just talk about the pricing on this. So the done for you suite on the front end is 47 to 67 dollars it's you know it the earlier you adopt it the cheaper it is in fact i think if you get it on the first day of it opening it's even less than 47 dollars so you know hopefully you're signed up on my list and you're going to get an email saying oh hey get this now but if you're not then just make sure you click on the button and get that as soon as you can and i believe that is going to be on the 29th august 29th so I recommend that you can get it for less than $47. Then the first upsell is monthly credit. So in the first one, you get access to the software, you get agency rights. It's a web-based software. So you don't need to worry about, oh, can I install it on my computer? Is it going to, my computer's going to bog down. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's web-based software, but you get a, um, just a specific number of credits with your initial purchase. So if you want to get more credits past that, you need monthly credits. And I have a special bonus for that, which I'll talk, talk about in a minute. But the monthly credits, again, the range is going to be 47 to 67 initially. It may go up past that again. And this is pretty typical for software like this because it costs money to maintain the software. So it's just kind of one of those things, right? But it's totally worth it. I mean, that, that price right there, you could build way more backlinks than what you're going to get. You know, like if you were to go to Fiverr or something, you would have to bargain to get enough backlinks to make it worth $47. So you're going to get a much better value here. And then the second one is the done for you indexer platform. And this is what I was talking about where your links don't get found. And that's because they're not either not indexed or they don't have backlinks to them. So that's where an indexer, a good indexer will help you have those index fast enough so that Google sees them and says, Oh yeah, these are valid. Okay. We're being told by these properties that these are valid links. So yes, we'll go ahead and, and, and index them and make them show up. Right, keep them in our in our database so that indexing is really critical and I can tell you that I stopped indexing because it was costing me a lot of money and that's when I saw the, the drop in my backlinks so indexing is definitely worth it but the problem is, is that most of the indexing platforms out there cost a monthly fee this one $97 flat so it, this this one alone is worth you know it was well worth $97 then the next upsell is the My Video Spy, and I've done a review on that here. It's um, it's separate, but it's more for video for people who are on YouTube and trying to get traffic from YouTube. Oh well, and I guess you can be off YouTube as well. But it's it's pretty cool, but it is time consuming. So I didn't do a huge thing here. But if you want to see my video review, I, I put a link in here. And then the next upsell is access to Video Chief, which I don't have, and it's not that I don't recommend it. It's just, I don't have a need for done for you videos. So if you have a need for done for you videos, this would be good for you. And I would check it out anyway. Cause it, I mean, he's got really good, good resources. So, all right. So let's talk about my bonuses real quick. So the first one is the link supercharger software, and you can read through here and see, see what these are. And then you have SEO and ranking tracking tactics. So this will kind of give you some extra tips beyond what you're going to learn then better SEO in less than a month. This will also help you with SEO tips. So if you're looking to rank, these are going to help you out. And then this, this fourth one, and all four of these come when you purchase the done for you suite through my link. Now this one, this fourth one is jumpstart your email list and help give you some tips for getting email subscribers. Now, if you get the monthly credits, I have a very special bonus and it's access to my SEO booster software. So SEO booster software, and you can read through this, but I, it's called SEO booster and I usually run full campaigns, but I'm offering a mini campaign with this because the full campaigns are usually, you know, a couple hundred dollars and they're reserved for people who are really hardcore and want to, you know, pay quite a bit for them. So I've set up mini campaigns and I've decided to go ahead and include that for those who have the, who get the monthly credits. And what this does is that you can designate up to 12 keywords for your website. So we talked about keywords, right? We said, okay, if we're going to do happy go lucky, 
then that could be one of your keywords and you could have 11 others up to 11 others, or you could just have one. doesn't matter anywhere from one to 12 keywords, but you'll get 166 searches per month through Google. So they're going to search for your keyword, look for your site, click on it, make there. It looks like it's a user. It actually technically is a real user. It's just all automated. So this is one way that I've used actually, it's probably the one thing that got me on the front page of Google for multiple keywords when I was doing local SEO. I've tested it since then on e-commerce. This is actually just in the last month. I've tested it on e-commerce as well as um, Little Biz Resources, this one. And it's worked quite well in helping me to get ahead of many, many others. Now, I didn't have my on-site optimized, and so I didn't get quite to page one for one of something I was competing on, but I was able to stay in, in the first couple of pages most of the time. And so and that was with some heavy competition. So this one booster helps a lot. Now again, normally I do a full campaign, but we don't offer full campaigns outside of paid. So I can only do a mini campaign on this. But if you, you know, if you're like, oh, hey, I want to do more than that, talk to me, I can get you a discount. But this is what I'm including this for free for anybody who gets them, who signs up for the monthly version. As long as you keep the monthly version and keep paying for that, you'll keep getting access to this. So you definitely, you get your money's worth in this. Use a hundred dollar value just for this mini SEO booster. And you're paying your $47 a month to, you know, get access to the um, credits. All right. So that is it for me for now. And I'll do more that's, it's not open right now. And I didn't see review access, so I can't get in there and look, but it's really basic. So it's really simple to use, really easy. You just kind of submit the information and see how it works. So we'll go ahead and see how that plays out when it launches. It's going to launch on the, like I said, the 29th. So today's the 28th. It's 1.36 in the morning, but tomorrow it should launch and you can, you know, I'll, I'll send an email out and if you want to just get notified, if you want to make sure you're on the list to get notified, oops, real fast, sorry, just, you know, send me a contact message and say, Hey, I'd like to get notified and I'll make sure you are on the list. So that's it for now. I will see you guys either in the lead generation source group or hopefully in the software. Thanks.